Hi, it's Heather from Sister Stand Strong here. Welcome back to the Bootstrap Business Blueprint. Today, we're going to be covering the money blueprint. Think rich and get rich. So your beliefs shape your personal blueprint. And I don't know whether you realize this, but there's something called the imprint period, which is between birth and seven years. Now, between the age of zero and seven, you're very much like a sponge with no filter system whatsoever. You take everything to be real and true. Whatever you hear, whatever you see, whatever you're told, you will believe it to be true. And this is where the majority of our hardwired money beliefs actually start. There's another element to this, which is the vows we make to our families. Now, if one of your parents or significant caregivers kept telling you something like, this is how we do it in our family, or this is what we believe, it will become almost an invisible vow that you're, you're not actually aware of and you unknowingly commit to at a very subconscious level. So many of our money blueprint beliefs are buried really within us like a, an invisible programming. And this can lead to things like um, self-sabotage. It can lead to boom and bust. It can lead to hoarding money, spending money. However you approach money, it is to do with your blueprint. So your net worth will never exceed your self-worth. Ouch. <laughs> now, this is a big subject. So I'm unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to cover everything here because quite honestly, I could do many, many programs several times over about money blueprints and your money programming and the blocks that might be getting in your way. But what I would like to do is I'd like to give you some insights. Now, your money blueprint consists of your thoughts, your feelings and your actions in the arena of wealth creation. And you can look at the formula like this. So your thoughts about money lead to your feelings about money. Your feelings about money then lead to your actions regarding money. And finally, your actions take you ultimately to the results in your life. So drop the mic here, truth bomb time. So if you are getting results in your life at the moment, it could be that you've got some unconscious programming going on in your life, in your mind that you are totally unaware of. And until you actually remove those blocks and replace those beliefs with something positive, you will always keep getting the results that you've got so far. So let's get you some sort of action points, something for you to do today. So the first thing we're going to do is look at verbal programming. So what I'd like you to do is write down what you heard as a child about money. So people around you, they're talking about money. What are the type of things that they were saying? So write those statements down. Now, if you grew up with a, a mum and a dad, you might want to write down and have two columns, one with mum, one with dad at the top of it, where you can actually put in, because different people have different ideas and beliefs about money. So maybe your dad had one version of, of money, uh, things that he was saying, and your mum might be saying something else. Um, you might have other caregivers around you that were talking about money if you didn't have a mum and dad when you were growing up. So I want you to kind of write down what you heard as a child from the different people in your life about money. The next one is about modelling. Now, this is very, very powerful. This is about what you saw when you were little regarding money. So did you see your father or mother struggle for money? Did you see them crying over money? Did you see them arguing over money? And again, that could fall into the first one about what you heard, but I want you to, you know, this one is a very strong emotional pull on this one. It's what you actually saw when you were growing up regarding money. Did your parents hoard money, for instance, or did they spend it like there was no tomorrow? And three, what did you personally experience about money? So write this one down. When you were little, what were the, what what happened in in terms of was there an event that happened that was associated with money? Um, is there a, a, an incident when you were little and somebody told you you couldn't have something, or maybe took your money away from you, or you know? what were the experiences that you had when you were young concerning money? So write all of these down as well. So here's a top tip. We can just logic this away. 
if we want to, because our minds have been programmed at a very deep level. At such an early age, we're not really aware of what's going on. Now, emotions will always win over logic. So you as an adult might be coming to this from a logic point of view. It's like, why do I keep on self-sabotaging? Why can't I save money? Why do I spend money so much? You, you'll be coming from a logic point of view. Your head will try to rule your heart. However, it is the emotions that will always win. And so your subconscious mind is like a very little child child anyway. It is like that zero to seven child. And it's very, very emotional. So if you can write down sort of what you heard, what you saw and what you experienced, but then put the emotions behind it and also put like zero to 10. So where on a scale of zero to 10 do you feel? So zero would be, you know, you don't really feel anything about it emotionally. 10 would be, wow, there's quite an emotional charge about this. Now, for some of you, you're saying, well, this is all very well, Heather, but how on earth do I unblock some of these things? Well, one of the uh, great things that I can introduce you to, if you don't know about it already, is the emotional freedom technique. It's the tapping technique. Now, you might have seen this already. Uh, it's about tapping on acupressure points, and there's a certain sequence of words you use, and it's very, very powerful. And what I would like you to do is probably, you know, once you've written all those statements down, you'll be aware of some of the things that you are believing about money. Now you can, as I said, I could, I could literally talk for days about this subject. Um, I've studied this in depth. I have got so much material on this stuff, but I just really want to introduce you to this. One thing I would suggest is if you do uncover some real kind of emotional charged things in your life, um, the emotional freedom technique is EM, um, EFT is very, very powerful. Um, if you go onto YouTube and tap in, literally uh, type in uh, the, uh, the, 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 the different things and put like tapping for, for this or tapping to remove this belief about money or so, um, you'll come up with, probably you'll see somebody called Brad Yates, Brad Yates, Brad Yates is very, very good. I love Brad. He has got, um, hundreds and hundreds of different tapping videos to do with different emotions that you could be um, experiencing over money. So that's the place to start, I would say. Um, if you want like a quick fix for this is go to, to Brad and he will talk you through a tapping technique um, that hopefully will match the type of things you're experiencing. So I hope this is this has um, opened up um, something for you. I hope it hasn't opened up a can of worms, but I hope it has opened up something for you because you know this is all about awareness first, acknowledging something, and then accepting something. That is the change transformation process. And once you become aware of the things that are stopping you, you can start acknowledging them, accepting them, and moving forwards. Hope this has helped. I will speak to you again tomorrow. Take care.